So this is a, a quick little video, just some more on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, I'm going to apologise ahead of time for the state of my desk. It is completely, horribly messy right now. Um, partly because of the temperature outside. It's around about 44, at least that's what my car is saying. That's 44 Celsius. Um, currently, this is an old VGA monitor. I'm currently running it from 12 volts. But at the moment, uh, it's hitting about 14 volts. That power is fed from a 130 amp hour deep cycle battery that's in a cupboard up the hallway. I'll feature that in another video when I've had a chance to clean it up. That is charged from about 120 watts of solar panel on the roof. A couple of old caravan panels. Um, and it runs some of the basics like my LED stripping and um, pretty much everything that's on the switch panel here as well. Um, which is quite nifty. In any case, uh, this I'm hoping to lug up a fire tower at some point to use uh, as a computing terminal uh, with something not terribly too valuable. The, the monitor was a freebie, recycled, and this obviously they're about uh, 15 or 20 bucks. So hopefully it should be fairly cheap. Now, one of the problems I've run into is to get VGA off this without using the GPIO port. Um, I've used a male to male VGA adapter a male to HD, oh, sorry, a VGA to HDMI adapter, then a HDMI to mini HDMI adapter. It's a um, bit of a horrific connection, but uh, I'll try and pack all them in one box and split the casings off later. Uh, these red leads were uh, actually, a, or are, a composite video output. You can see here from the incorrectly colored RCA plug. And I apologize about the exposure here, it's a little bit bright. In any case, it's time to watch this in action. Now, um, my monitor is pretty straightforward to connect. Uh, it should fire up shortly. It's, um, at the moment, because I'm running short on regulators, or more to the point that my regulator over there <laughs> is in another messy part of it, just out of cable range. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a uh, battery pack to fire this up. So I need to disconnect and then reconnect that. Now I'm seeing a green light flash on the Pi here. The monitor I'm hoping should turn on. Here we go. Geez, these zeros are quick. It's that long, I just that's how long it took to get into the boot process. I'm just firing up now. I had it hooked up to HDMI into my uh, overhead monitor up here um, just shortly and managed to get the Wi-Fi working, which was quite good. We have our apprentices coming to assist me at the moment too. Let's see. Our apprentices come in to help. And uh, yes, we're seeing here, I've set it to auto login and we're already uh, in the Raspberry Pi. That's working quite well. Um, I think the last thing I ran was Raspberry Config and uh, I'm just in the process of setting up all the localization options. But we have a setup that could conceivably run entirely off a 12 volt solar system which is quite good. Um, hopefully uh, I'm in range of a five gigahertz link from the uh, place that I work. I'm in line of sight from the fire tower. I have a little ubiquity uh, M5 disc. It sounds like I'm being called away for kitchen duty. So I'll end this video here and I'll do some more on the Raspberry Pi Zero soon.